So as promised, here is a tutorial on how to make the masks that we sell on our website. Um, if I was still in the UK, you can bet that I would be utilising my studio with the industrial machines to be making as many of these as possible for the NHS with different fabrics and stuff, but that is not available to me right now as I am still in Berlin and just with my domestic. But hopefully giving you guys this tutorial on how to make them yourselves means that, well, you can make them for yourselves and your friends and family and anyone else that uh, wants to have one. So first of all, you need to print out the PDF from the website. There's a link on there and you can cut out either the adult or child pattern. So the materials that you're gonna need for this is a piece of elastic that is 27 inches long and ideally about six millimeters or smaller wide. You'll need some breathable fabric to line it with and your outer fabric. So the best material to use for the outer fabric is something that's very tightly woven. So you can see in this fabric that the threads are very close together. This means basically that less will come through it when you're breathing and it gives you a bit more protection. As I said, they're still not medical grade masks, but they will offer you something. And with the right sides together, you're gonna to stitch together the left and right side of the face mask with a one centimeter seam allowance. So now you've got the outside stitched together and the seams pressed open and the insides, the same thing. I've taken one side of the lining and folded it over about a centimetre and pressed it with the iron and I'm going to top stitch this down. This is to make a hole in the sides so you can put in a filter if you want to. Now that you've got these stitched together you might notice when you open them out and it'll be curving on your face like this you get these bumps inside here. To kind of flatten those bumps a little bit you can snip into the seam allowance very carefully and not too deep either just a few spots around you want to make sure that you don't get too close to the threads otherwise they will fall open and that just means that the bumps kind of lay across each other rather than folding into little mountains for you the next step after that is to take your outer and the inner with the right sides together you're going to pin these in place and you're going to stitch together along the top seam and the bottom seam So you'll notice there is a small amount of fabric on this side and a larger amount on the end of this. This is because this is the side that we've um, closed over to make a gap to put a filter in. So now I'm going to stitch these two together at the top and the bottom. You have to excuse my quarantine fingers. <laughs> is anyone else's skin atrocious after washing it a hundred times a day? And of course, not being able to get your nails done. And now we're going to put those snips before pressing it open along the curved edges of this mask which go around the face. That will just mean that it's easier to press open and will give us a neater finish. And I think it can do with a couple along the bottom as well. It's just where your chin goes. So there is a slight curve there too. Now we can turn this inside out. And take it over to the ironing board for a press. 
Now we're going to iron the seams to make a nice neat finish. Now when you get to the end, you're just going to continue the fold to the edge. Kind of let it go where it wants to go. And you'll do this on all four ends. The next step is to take the edges and just fold them over a very small amount and then press it with the iron. Maybe you want to do this with pins. And then once that's folded over, you're going to fold it over again about a centimetre, maybe just under, and press this too. That will make it a lot easier to top stitch down into place. On the side where we've got more fabric, you'll do the same thing, fold it over just a small amount at the end, and then again about a centimetre over, but you want to make sure that it is lined up with the edge of the gap here so that you can still access it. Now we're going to stitch the elastic together. The next thing we're going to do is get the elastic in. So it's easier to do with these sides folded down already. You've kind of got the seams already pressed there for you. And this bit is quite fiddly, so you might want to use some pins to hold the fabric in place. And when you stitch this down, you want to be careful that you don't catch the elastic so that it can move around inside the channels and you will be able to adjust it better. For your own head. On this side, I've made sure that it's lined up here so you can still access the insides, but it's very neatly matched up. So I think this will be the part that people find the trickiest, is not catching the elastic when you sew. I can cut all these threads off um, shortly. Uh, to make that a bit easier, you can make this channel a bit wider so that you haven't got as much, because we've only got another a few millimetres there, you can see where the elastic is. Um, so you can make these channels a bit wider if you think you're going to find it a bit difficult to get them that close. If you don't want to bother with this extra hole, you can just do it the same as you've done on the other side where the fabric just rolls around the whole way without leaving a gap. So, just going to neaten this up. And, and there we go, we've got our finished mask. So, yeah, you've got the pocket here to put in a filter if you want, if you can find one online or you want to put in some extra layers of fabric, you can do. Okay, and there we have it. That's a really easy way to make your own face mask, whether it's for the situation we're in right now, or for a festival, or just for fashion, because this has become the new trend. Um, yeah, I hope you liked it and found it easy to do. Make sure whenever you take your mask off or on, you've got clean hands, and I hope you're all staying safe and happy. And if you make one of these yourself, if you tag us in it, we can share it on Instagram to inspire other people to use their time creatively and make themselves and their families masks.